Thank you, Christopher. And now, in other news, the mayor of Kingston, Delroy Williams, has reported that the Kingston and St. Andrew Municipal Corporation, KSAMC, issued in excess of 6,000 meals to members of the homeless population during the Easter holiday lockdown. Williams highlighted that the KSAMC's Poor Relief Department, along with support from councillors, corporate Jamaica, volunteers, and various church groups, prepared and distributed breakfast and lunch each day despite the restrictions. He added that Kingston has become a much more caring city, with greater thought being given to the vulnerable groups. He added that the KSAMC is achieving this with the help of private entities who also help to feed the less fortunate. The KSAMC now operates a daily soup kitchen offering 600 breakfasts and 600 lunches daily to the homeless across the city, totaling 1,200 meals per day. A temporary shelter was also constructed at Church Street to shelter additional homeless persons since the start of the pandemic. A transitional facility is currently under construction at King Street, which is expected to provide additional support and shelter to over 100 homeless persons once completed. Mayor Williams expressed gratitude to KSAMC staff and volunteers who used their holidays to ensure this program was continued. The mayor urged other Samaritans to ensure that they coordinate with the local authority when considering launching feeding programs. Continuing with the news tonight, Tourism Minister Edmund Bartlett says Jamaica recorded a major increase in stopover arrivals over the Easter holiday weekend, with the island recording the highest total of visitors since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. Minister Bartlett explained that, and I quote, according to preliminary data from the Jamaica Tourist Board, Jamaica recorded some 14,983 visitors to the island from April 1 to 5, 2021. Over 13,000 of these visitors entered the island via Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay, end quote. He indicated that year-to-date, Jamaica has welcomed some 209,930 passengers to the island, 164,157 of whom were tourists. Minister Bartlett said that he is very heartened by the data they have received, as it shows that Jamaica is still top of mind to our visitors and that we are making steady progress towards a full recovery of our sector. He commended the team at the Jamaica Tourist Board for their aggressive and innovative marketing campaigns and gave special commendation to tourism partners and stakeholders for their hard work that they also do in marketing brand Jamaica to the world. The minister also noted that representatives of the Tourism Product Development Company and other government entities visited a number of properties over the holiday weekend to inspect entities and also check for compliance by locals and visitors alike with COVID-19 health and safety protocols. The minister said that the reports received by the ministry indicate that there was strong compliance with the protocols as players in the sector enforced strict COVID-19 measures over the holiday weekend, despite the high occupancy in most properties. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Mellow TV Evening News at 8. I am Shelly Ann Hill. Stay safe and pleasant viewing.